Which one do you think is better for fat loss? I want you guys to pause the video right now, go down in the comments and let me know Coke Zero and other zero calorie beverages or water is going to be more conducive for fat loss and why? Let me know down in the comments right now. Comment, like this video, and we'll continue when you get back. The science we will be referencing today is a randomized controlled trial conducted by John Peters and colleagues published in 2016. What the study looked at was the difference between non-nutritive sweetened beverages or things like Coke Zero compared to water and how that affected weight loss over a one year period of time. And the results were probably not what most of you expected. What the research showed was out of the 303 participants, those that were instructed to consume a 24 ounce quantity of soda every single day compared to those that were allowed to drink water, the ones that were drinking sodas like Diet Coke and Coke Zero were able to see over six kilograms of weight loss compared to those only drinking water who also saw weight loss but only 2.45 kilos. Now I'm no mathematician and you don't really have to be to know that that is a massive difference. As part of the year long trial, there was a 12 week period where there was a focus on weight loss and fat loss with a 40 week maintenance period. After the 12 week period, the non-nutritive sweetened beverage group has saw a massive increase in weight loss compared to the only water group. And while after that weight loss period was done in within the 40 week maintenance period, both groups groups saw a little uptick in their weight regain. However, the water only group saw a much larger uptick in the amount of weight regain. What we can take from this is that something that they were doing in that 12 week period was unsustainable. Whether they were exercising more and consuming fewer calories and now all of a sudden they were just sick of it after 12 weeks, because mind you, 12 weeks is quite a long time. Whatever it was that happened, they no longer wanted to do it. And now that they've gone more into their normal routine, the regain has started back up. And while there is definitely a little bit of regain in the non-nutritive sweetened beverage group. There was significantly less. The non-nutritive sweetened beverage group saw a weight regain of less than 3%, meaning that they were able to keep the weight off significantly easier than the water only group. What these results suggest is that non-nutritive sweetened beverages like Coke Zero can be used as a fantastic tool in weight loss journeys. And more importantly, can be used as a tool to maintain the weight loss. As we know, and I'm sure you've heard it before, that most of the people that lose large amounts of weight tend to gain it back and some. So if this is a tool that can help people reduce the amount of total calories they're consuming all while giving them a sweet little kick or sweet treat from time to time, it'll reduce the total number of calories they're taking in and therefore have an easier time maintaining their fat loss. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please let me know what you think. I'm gonna leave the paper down below so you guys can peruse through it as always. And if you guys have any other questions, make sure you guys hit it down below and I will see you guys in the next one. By the way, last month, we launched my brand new high protein cookbook. Anyone that puts an order in for one will get a big, huge smoochy kiss from me. So make sure you guys tag me on Instagram at Evidence Nutrition so that I can give you a big fat wet one when you do. See you later. Oh, and by the way, YouTube thinks you'll like this video. So give it a shot and don't forget to hit subscribe.